In this tutorial, we're using FFmpeg on Windows to encode an H.264 video from a directory of images as part of LifeCast's workflow for creating volumetric video from any VR180 camera. We first run the LifeCast tool to create a directory of images which represent frames of volumetric video. Now we're going to encode this video using H.264 so it can be efficiently compressed and played back in WebVR, Unity, or Unreal. We're going to open up our terminal and then run FFmpeg. And we'll get an error because we haven't installed FFmpeg yet. So let's do that. Go to ffmpeg.org slash download.html and then click on the link for Windows. We've got a couple options here. Let's do the first one and then scroll down to where it says release builds and choose ffmpeg release essentials.zip. Save that and we'll extract it. Now we can put it wherever we want. For this tutorial, I'm just putting it on the desktop. And notice that where we extracted it, there's a subdirectory called bin that contains the ffmpeg executable. And we want to add this to our path so that it can be referenced in commands. So we'll search for environment variables and then click the environment variables button and then select the row for path and edit that and then add a new row and click browse and then find wherever the bin directory is from the ffmpeg zip that you extracted. It's important that it be bin and not the ffmpeg directory above it. So once we've done that, um, FFmpeg is fully set up and we should be able to open the terminal and run FFmpeg version and we'll see that FFmpeg is installed. So next we're going to build a command to run FFmpeg. Um, you can get this at LifeCast VR's tutorial website. So just copy this command and we're going to paste it into Notepad to make it a little easier to edit. Uh, to make this command work on Windows we need to update a few things. First, we're going to get the right path to our frames directory. So you can find out the path just by dragging it into your terminal, and then we'll copy and paste that in to our command in Notepad so we can bring that in. And notice I'm also changing the slashes from a forward slash to a backslash for Windows. And we'll also update the destination path. This is where the output video is going to be, so we don't want it to be in the frames directory. Just put it right on the desktop there. And we also need to reformat this so it's all in one line. So we're going through and deleting all of those line ending slashes and just putting this all onto a single command on one line. And then we'll copy this command and we're gonna paste it into the terminal. Uh, but first we need to clear the current command. So we'll just clear it out. And then we paste our command in and run it. And if everything is right, we will now see FFmpeg is encoding our video and it comes out on the desktop and then it's ready to go for VR or virtual production in Unreal, Unity, or WebVR. Thanks for watching. For more information, please visit lifecastvr.com.